Online medical information can really take the fun out of your life, especially when it comes to cancer. Before you know it, you are overwhelmed with all the scary stuff that's out there and you get really, really afraid. Prostate cancer is the second most commonly diagnosed cancer in men and it is easy to fall into the trap medical students regularly fall into. To read about it and suddenly you recognize all these symptoms and you are convinced you have it. I uploaded this video to reassure you that it is not your task to put a diagnosis on yourself. It is mine, the urologist's. We'll go through the signs and symptoms of prostate cancer, but in the end, don't be too hard on yourself. You are not alone, trapped inside the internet. We are here to help you in the real world, the urologist's. Hi, my name is Stefan Buntrock and I'm a urologist. If there is one signature organ in urology, so to speak, it would be the prostate. Because prostate cancer is detected in so many men. And additionally, there is benign prostatic enlargement and prostate infections. And this makes up a large part of the workload. What is a prostate and where is it? This question might be trivial, but many men don't know they even have a prostate. Here's a short summary. The prostate is a gland beneath the bladder. Together with the seminal vesicles, which are located close by, it produces the ejaculate. And this might be a new piece of information for many. The ejaculate is not produced in the testicles. In the testicles, sperm is produced and at a later time mixed together with the fluid from the prostate. The natural history of prostate cancer is incompletely understood. Apparently, already in young age, cancer cells can be detected in some men. This ratio rises quite a lot with age, so that 80-year-olds have a roughly 60% chance of cancer cells in their prostate. But what does it mean? Nothing in many cases, as there is no whatsoever growth so that it becomes dangerous. Here is one diagnostic problem. The more an aggressive prostate cancer detection is driven forward, the more of these rather harmless cancers will be detected and treated while there was no need to treat them or even detect them in the first place. We'll come to that a little later. Prostate cancer season starts for most men at age 50. Before that, hereditary cancers might show up, but patients younger than 50 years represent a minority. So how do you know you have prostate cancer? Actually, in most cases you don't. And that's the problem with cancer in general. In the early stages, you wouldn't notice a thing. If there are any signs in beginning prostate cancer, they are subtle and they could be related to all kinds of diseases of the lower urinary tract. So if you suffer from frequency, urgency, weak stream, nocturia, the feeling of not emptying your bladder completely, this could be something related to prostate cancer or benign prostatic enlargement, or urinary tract infection, including prostatitis, or a pelvic floor issue, or some bladder stuff like bladder stones, or even bladder cancer. It is impossible to tell just from the presenting symptoms. But, as I said, in the early stages, you will probably feel perfectly healthy. So what can be done to detect prostate cancer early? Most cancers present at the lateral side of the organ, and good news is that it is actually possible to reach these areas with a finger. This is the examination urologists do quite a lot, and this is how the Euro-like button came about. You can support the distribution of the information of this video by hitting the like button, sorry, the Euro-like button, right now. Then there is ultrasound, and this is taken from within the rectum, which gives high-resolution images. But the cornerstone of prostate cancer detection is PSA. PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen, and this is a blood test that many of you might have heard of already. There has been much debate on PSA in the media, but bottom line is, it is a very powerful marker, if interpreted and used correctly. I plan on doing a whole video on PSA in English, as I already have in German. If you understand German, you might want to watch it. PSA has helped a lot in the detection of early prostate cancer. But, as I already pointed out, there is a risk for detecting cancers that should have been left alone. This is why it is advisable to get tested on a regular basis from fairly young age in order to monitor PSA development. PSA does not diagnose prostate cancer. For this you will need a biopsy. A biopsy is a tissue sample that is taken from the prostate. There are several ways to do it, but it will involve a device that shoots a needle into the organ. This will be done in some form of anesthesia, by the way. 
And actually, it is not one biopsy, but several that are taken at the occasion. And there is no spill of cancer cells while doing that. This is a concern I hear very often from my patients. During the last years, multiparametric MRI has become more and more important. And before a biopsy is taken, this imaging method is an additional tool to help detect clinically significant prostate cancer by identifying suspicious areas within the gland. It is then possible to specifically target these areas when taking the biopsies. The majority of prostate cancers gets diagnosed at a stage where it only can be found by the use of PSA and needle biopsy. It is not even detectable by palpating it with a finger. However, some men get also diagnosed at a late stage. And under these circumstances, there might be symptoms. I named a few before, weak stream, nocturia, frequency, urgency, but there might also be blood in the urine or back pain, typically lower back pain from metastatic disease into the spine. Occasionally, blood in the semen might be a symptom, but not consistently. I did a whole video about this, please check it out. Okay, my recommendation to you is get used to the thought that you own a prostate. The decision to get tested for prostate cancer is entirely up to you. There are good reasons not to do it, like if you're well above age 70, have no symptoms and have never been tested before in your life. But there are also reasons to go to the urologist. If you have symptoms, you should definitely make an appointment. If you are in a risk group, like male relatives with prostate cancer, you should see a urologist too. And don't be scared, most urologists are friendly people. If yours is not, come to my office. But seriously, as a man around age 50 with no symptoms, you should definitely make up your mind about prostate cancer detection. If you are unable to, ask your wife. With that being said, subscribe to my channel or ask your wife to subscribe as women are the healthcare managers of the family. See you soon.